Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today let's pair wines with steak. Juicy, medium cooked steak grilled on an open fire for me is one of the early signs of summer season. Where I come from, we like to cook everything over an open flame. And when the first warm sunny days hit, weekenders are outside grilling meat. And while here most often meat is accompanied by beer, opened way before it's even cooked, I think wine actually pairs better. Especially so if the steak is cooked as it should be, medium rare. Steaks can be so diverse, with the depth of the flavor greatly depending on each specific cut, but also on how it is cooked, seasoned, and what sauce it is served with. Some even argue that there is no food and wine pairing, as wine should always be paired with sauce. But no matter if your preferred steak is lean, medium-cooked filet mignon or rich, fatty bistecca alla Fiorentina, there are plenty of wines we can play with to lift the experience of the meal. Malbec is probably the first wine that pops in my mind when talking about juicy, medium-cooked steak on an open fire. When I say steak, you say Malbec. Steak? Malbec. Steak? Malbec. <laughs> Argentina is famous for its beef steak, and not only meat, but also how it is cooked to perfection over an open fire. And choosing wine that has developed alongside the food seems a natural choice. For fattier cuts, I like to choose Malbec from vineyards higher in elevation, such as Uco Valley. These wines tend to have higher acidity, thus offering refreshment to the rich meat, while plump and generous fruits often add contrast to the charred meat. I consider Syrah to be as almost as great pairing for steak as Malbec, especially those coming from cooler climate, offering slight peppery note to otherwise bright fruit flavors and maybe even some hints of meatiness and earthiness. Linear cuts such as filet mignon would go beautifully well with those elegant Syrah wines from Northern Rhone. Their tannins are firm enough to lift the medium cooked meat, but they are usually not too high or bold to overpower the otherwise delicate cut. This pairing is especially great if your steak is served with green peppercorn sauce, as the slight peppery flavors often found in Northern Rhone Syrah wines would complement it perfectly. Venison steak offers great depth of flavors, often accompanied by quite an intense aromatic experience. It makes sense to pair the dish with similar flavor profile and intensity. And first thing that comes to my mind is aged Bordeaux. While venison is leaner meat, it will still benefit from the elevated acidity and firm tannins offered in Bordeaux wines. However, the tannin structure in aged wines is often rounder and softer, therefore not overpowering the meat. What is even better, in my opinion, is that old Bordeaux wines tend to develop quite complex flavors of forest floor, fresh mushrooms and autumn leaves. Flavor-wise, perfect for venison steak. For those who enjoy aged and rich in flavor steaks, one of my favorite options is Brunello di Montalcino. These wines are full-bodied and well-structured to not allow meaty flavors overpower them. But they also have quite an intense red fruit profile that lifts and elevates the palate. Likewise, it also helps that Brunellos tend to have higher acidity and can deal quite well with fatty dishes, leaving the aftertaste refreshed and bright. But most importantly, the elevated tannins of Brunello di Montalcino Chino wines will be great for medium cooked meat, while the fatness of the meat will actually round out the perception of the tannins. Why wouldn't a classic steak be paired with orange wine? Like red wines, they offer great versatility. A fuller-bodied orange wine with good tannin grip would be perfect with linear cuts. Similarly, their slightly dried fruit flavors would complement otherwise savory meat. And these wines would perform especially well if your steak is served with crunchy vegetables and fresh green salads. No grilling season can be imagined without juicy burger. Check out my video on wine and burger pairing here.